We do have temperatures that reach the 80s today, but only in the 70s tomorrow, about a 10 degree cool down for us in the next 24 hours. So we'll have those temperatures in the 70s tomorrow, more scattered showers as we go into Sunday as well, and then a really quick warm up going into next week. Those 90s return as quick as a flash. Now tonight we'll have temperatures in the 70s for the rest of this evening all the way through 11 o'clock, and then we drop into the 60s around midnight. As for today, we reached 87 degrees at DIA, our overnight low 67 degrees and the record 100 set back in 1876 and on average we should be around 88 degrees this time of year. We're at 83 now downtown 82 at the airport. Our humidity at 31% and our winds about 13 miles an hour. Now temperatures at this point are in the 80s here from Denver up to Sterling and into Ray. We have 70s and 80s down to the southeast. A little cooler in Trinidad because of rain cooled air. We've had quite a bit of rain in the southern part of the state. Uh, this big batch of rain has moved from Trinidad out toward Lamar and Springfield where we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until later on tonight and we still have a lot of lightning and heavy rain with this storm cell that's moving through the area. So we'll keep a close eye on that, but here in the Denver Metro has been pretty quiet for much of the day. Our temperatures by tomorrow morning will be in the 60s here for the northeastern corner of the state. We'll have 40s and 50s off to the west from Leadville into Aspen and Eagle. We'll have 45 in Gunnison and 47 in Alamosa and our temperatures just off to the west in the 50s here from Blackhawk to Netherland up into Estes Park. We'll also have 50s and 60s here for Metro Denver. Our pool forecast tomorrow looking pretty good while well, partly cloudy skies you'll Notice the difference in our temperatures though. 76 degrees by 2 o'clock. We'll have some scattered showers showing up by the afternoon, mostly later in the day, but our temperature is expected to be in the 70s along the I-25 corridor. Out 76, we'll have temperatures in the 70s as well, and temperatures in the 60s into the higher elevations. We'll also have 90s out west toward Grand Junction tomorrow afternoon, 80s near Durango and Cortez, and also 80s to the south around Trinidad and into Springfield. So we'll start the day with partly cloudy skies tomorrow, isolated thunderstorms off to the west and then they'll pull down across the front range and most of the heavier rain will be south of I-70 as we head into tomorrow. So this entire area having a chance for at least some showers and stronger thunderstorms. I do think we'll see a chance for light rain here for our area, but then the intensity of those thunderstorms increases here from Oklahoma City to Kansas City up toward Omaha. That's where we have chances for severe weather tomorrow. Now we have cooler air backing into northeastern Colorado tomorrow. That's why our temperature will be in the 70s. Monsoon moisture still making an appearance here in Colorado as we get into uh, the next 24 hours. So 78 for a high tomorrow, 80s on Monday, and then those low to mid 90s here Tuesday, Wednesday with partly cloudy skies. We'll have chances for rain Thursday and Friday with highs in the low 90s.